I would venture to say at some point in our motherhood journey, we have had someone say to us, just wait until, and I have some thoughts about this and the general direction that conversation goes. And I'm gonna share those with you in today's video. So recently I was having a conversation and this was with um, a couple who has not had their child yet. It's like an any day now type of situation. Um, and so I was just asking the normal questions of, you know, uh, when is baby due? Do you guys have everything ready? Are you excited? I am quite sure, you know, mom, she is ready to, to have baby and all of that kind of stuff. And I was just sharing some of the excitement, like, oh my goodness, you guys are going to be, you're going to be tired. Yes, but it's going to be so wonderful. And it's, it's going to be so many things that you never thought that it would be. And I'm just so excited for you guys and just sharing in the excitement and the encouragement of bringing a new life into the world. And I was met with you know, excitement and yes, we're ready to, for it to be over and we can't wait, wait to meet baby and, and all of those things. But also there were comments of, well, this person is suggesting that we um, just wait until baby is old enough for this and oh, just wait until they're two and they're, they're into everything. Oh, just wait until... And I felt discouraged for them. And I think that's because I have been there and I know we all have been there where you say, I am very frustrated today because my little baby is crawling around and she is learning how to get into everything. And it is just driving me crazy because I am now at a point, a new point, I can't set baby down without her getting into things. And that person then comes back with, yeah, well, just wait until they start walking. And what a discouragement that can be. And, and it can feel so invalidating. And it also sets this precedent of, well, you think it's bad now. It's only going to get worse. And I just don't think that's the best way that we can be handling this situations. I know that generally those types of comments are made usually from, you know, a place of humor as in, you know, oh, just wait, you know, it's, it's going to get crazy or whatever. Um, but when that becomes the, the normal or that becomes consistent where we're just consistently hearing like, yeah, that's probably not good, but just wait till they get a little bit older. Why can't we change that perspective? I, I have never really understood that feeling of, yeah, it's bad now, but just wait. I don't like that. Um, I, I think we can still say those things, but let's make it positive, right? Why can't we say like, yes, baby is crawling now, but just wait until she gets a little bit bigger and she really starts figuring it out and then you get to watch her walk for the first time. So for this new couple, this not a, they're not a new couple, but for these new parents, I just, I don't know, it just stirred something in, in here, you know, stirred something inside and got me thinking like, why can't we change the tone and, and change the way that we present? Um, our children growing up and getting older and seasons changing and, and our children changing. Why, uh, why do we have to view those as negative things? Yes, your child is going to learn to walk someday. And yes, that is going to bring its own set of challenges. However, it's going to bring its own set of joys and excitements too. Your kid is walking now and now you get to buy cool and cute shoes and 
now they're learning to run and play, you know, play differently now. And there's, there is so much joy and excitement that can come from these new seasons, not to take away the fact that changing is hard. The changes that happen, especially with little, little ones, it's like they grow so fast and there's so much changing that happens so quickly. But that also continues when they get, as they get older, right? Things change and, and sometimes it takes a little bit longer to see what you have instilled in them come to fruition. And this I am talking about from experience. There have been things in the past where I'm like, why can't we just get through this thing? Why can't this thing just stick and stay with us? And for whatever reason, it just wouldn't, but I just was consistent and we just kept with it. And then now here we are a couple of years later and it's sticking and it's staying and it's getting consistent. And I don't know the psychological things behind that or, or any of that kind of stuff. I just know from a mother's perspective, it takes a little while sometimes to see those things come, come out and come to fruition, like I said. And when they finally do, it is so wonderful. So why can't that be what we lead with when we say, just wait until, just wait until they're three years old and they finally crawl up onto the couch on their own and just say, can you snuggle with me? And they just lay there and they just want to snuggle with you. Why can't that be the thing we look forward to instead of well, just wait until they're three and they decide they don't like that for dinner anymore and throw it all over the ground for you to clean up. Like there, yes, that's probably a reality. And sure, we can share some of those things, but we don't have to um, connect with moms in, in the negative. We can connect with moms in the positive. Support them through the challenges and the hard things because that is a reality, but we can also provide them with encouragement and love and, and fun, good things to look forward to. I, you know, I'm at the point now where people are saying, oh, just wait until she's a teenager. Teenage years, we, we have, I mean, she's, she's not even eight yet. But that's like, you know, the next big milestone is getting into those kind of preteen teen years. It's like, oh, just wait, you know, you think she's she's um, got really high highs and really low lows now, just wait. It's like, okay, but like maybe, maybe we will enjoy shopping together then, which we like shopping together now, but I don't, I don't know. It's just... I just don't like that feeling of like a negative connotation of our children growing up. It is a bittersweet thing because they're growing up, right? And so you're closer to them leaving the nest and going out on their own, but that doesn't have to be a negative thing. It it can bring its own joy and excitement. And so I think we just spend a little bit more time focusing on that than we do on on the negative or not even negative, sometimes it's just challenges because we're humans and they're kids and we're parents and they're growing up um, and they're trying to figure it out too. So I hope this encourages you, maybe it challenges you to, to consider you know some of these things differently, look at them through a different perspective, but that's it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.